If you are suffering from depression and taking antidepressants, you should have your pregnancy planned. This will give your psychiatrist the opportunity to switch your antidepressant to a safer one or decrease the dose and thus reduce the exposure of your baby. If you are suffering from untreated depression and are planning a pregnancy or are pregnant, again, visit a psychiatrist as untreated depression may affect both you and your baby. In general, the most widely used group of antidepressants called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, seem to be the safest in pregnancy. Overall, citalopram, fluoxetine and sertraline are considered to be the safest, whereas paroxetine is the least safe. Current evidence indicates that babies born to mothers treated with paroxetine in the first trimester are at 1.8 times greater risk of cardiac malformations. Other congenital abnormalities do not seem to be more frequent in babies to mothers treated with any of the SSRIs at any stage of pregnancy. A slightly higher incidence of miscarriages, premature birth and slow intrauterine growth observed equally with all SSRIs is considered to be the consequence of depression itself, not the drugs used. The same applies to a condition called persistent pulmonary hypertension, which can be expected in less than 1% of the babies to mothers treated with SSRIs. In up to 30% of pregnancies, SSRIs taken during the third semester may cause poor neonatal adaptation syndrome, presented as abstinence with generally mild symptoms. In general, the use of SSRIs in pregnancy, excluding paroxetine, has a positive risk-benefit ratio. Given the fact that the scientific data on the teratogenic effects of different SSRIs are largely inconsistent, the effects of different doses unexplored, and that severe depression influences pre- and postnatal development, do not forget. Severe depression must not be left untreated in pregnancy. Women with mild and moderate depression should be evaluated by a psychiatrist and the decision regarding the use of antidepressants should be made based on the stability of their mood disorder. The patient should always be treated with the minimum effective dose. Baby should undergo regular heart ultrasound follow-ups. In mothers treated with SSRIs, in the second half of the pregnancy, a delayed release from hospital or prolonged monitoring of the newborn should be considered. Thanks for watching. Share your opinion in the comment section. I will soon be back with more interesting topics.